Hey, Brolin. This is Brittany. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, and thank you so much on clicking on this video. This video is one of the highly requested videos that I have gotten, and it is how I studied for the DAT. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brittany and I am a first year dental student and I like to make videos and vlogs about dental school life. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please subscribe to my videos. But like I said, today I'm going to be talking about how I personally studied for the DAT. I'm going to be splitting it up into three parts. The first one is what is the DAT? The second one is how I studied for the DAT. And the third one is how I wish I studied for the DAT. So the first thing is what is the DAT? The DAT stands for Dental Admissions Test. And it is a test that everybody in the US has to take in order to apply to dental school. It's kind of like the equivalent of when you had to take the SAT or the ACT in order to apply for undergrad. But in this case, you take the DAT to apply to dental school. And so the DAT has six different parts and it takes four hours to complete it. It's all computer based. The six portions include general chemistry, organic chemistry, general biology, quantitative reasoning, which is the same thing as math, reading comprehension, and the hardest part would probably, in my opinion, would have to be the perceptual ability test. So for all of these sections, they are out of 30, but I read somewhere online that the average score is about 17 for each. So you get a score for every single section, and at the very end, you get an overall score called the academic average score, and this is all your scores kind of averaged together besides your perceptual ability test. So the second part of this video is how I personally studied for the DAT. So I studied for the DAT for a month, and I studied um, in the month of December, so I basically took all of winter break. I had a four week break, a winter break, and I, studied the whole winter break and then I took the test at the end. I studied for the DAT using DAT prep books and online sources. For the DAT prep books, I use Barron's and I use the DAT Destroyer. I personally thought the Barron's book was a little bit, um, it was just like, it was very basic, um, but it had like a good review for general bio, for like the sciences, but I thought that for the PAT, it didn't have a lot of resources for that. And I think that's a lot for a lot of the prep books that are out there. There are not a lot of PAT like practice on that. And um, just a heads up, the PAT has lots of interesting stuff like cube counting, origamis um, in your head and like hole punching and everything. It's just really interesting. I remember, just a side note, I remember um, I was like, why do we need the PAT? But then I realized once I got into dental school, we really have to like flip the teeth in our mind and have to know the shape. So I understand why the perceptual ability test is like super important. Another book that I used was OCHEM as a second language, and this is a very helpful book for me. Um, it was not a prep book, it was just basically like a review book for organic chemistry. Some other day prep books are Kaplan's, but I know that one can be like kind of bigger and more dense. Another one I heard is pretty good is the Princeton's DAT. Um, so those are some resources that you could use. Um, another thing that I feel like everyone should invest in is online sources. So I don't know if you guys have heard, but there is this guy named Chad and he makes videos online. And basically um, he makes videos about organic chemistry, but I used his stuff for organic chemistry basically to relearn chemistry, organic chemistry. Because what happened was I took organic chemistry over the summer and it was a really fast paced course and I just didn't really learn everything, which kind of came as a disadvantage for me because I like didn't really do as well as I wanted to on the OCHEM part of the DAT, but I'll get to that later. Um, so Chad's videos are really nice. They do have a subscription, I believe. When I took the DAT, they had a subscription for like a month, but I don't know how it is right now if you have to pay or whether it's free, but you do have to make an account. Um, other resources that you should check out, uh, I did crack the DAT. Um, and I heard a really good one is the DAT Bootcamp. So what the Crack DAT and the DAT Bootcamp do is that they're like um, kind of practice tests and you could take all of them. They're like the four hour long ones and they just give a lot more review for the perceptual ability test because like I said, the prep books don't really have a lot of good questions. So I really highly suggest 
investing in that. Also, the way that I studied for the DAT was besides having all those like materials, I did make a study schedule and I think that this is very important because you want to make sure that you are getting enough practice. So what I like to do was I liked to study from my books from let's say like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, I take like practice tests. If you wanna watch a video on how I like to plan out my study schedules, just in general, you can check out my previous video, which is how I like to study for finals, and it's just kinda of like the general same thing on how I like to plan out my study schedule. So that is how I study for it, how I wish I studied for the DAT. Um, there are just a few things that I wish I could have done differently in the past. What I wish I have done better is that I would really want to focus on my weaknesses more. My weaknesses were organic chemistry and the perceptual ability test. I think that if you know you're pretty solid with like reading or math, you would just be like, okay, that's fine. Or if you're really solid with journal chemistry or journal bio, like I was, I wouldn't spend too much time on that and I would spend more time focusing on improving my weaknesses. The second thing that I wish I would have changed was to take more full length practice tests because I'm not used to sitting and taking a test for four hours like in your seat, it's gonna be really, you're gonna be really antsy or like nervous or it's, you're just not gonna get used to it on the actual test day. I feel like if you take that time to take a full length practice test once or twice a week when you're studying for the DET, it will really help a lot. So that concludes my video. Hopefully it helped you. Um, I always like to tell you guys what I did and what I wish I did just to give you kind of like uh, my opinion in retrospect, so hopefully it will help you guys out. If you have any specific questions, make sure to comment down below. And if you took the DAT already yourself and you have some suggestions or like resources you'd like to share with the rest of the viewers, please do that as well. And if you like this video, please like. And if you're interested in more videos related to dental school, please subscribe. Bye!